Today on Garden Facts, we learn the best way to plant trees. There's no need to bark about it. It's easy. <laughs> Today's garden fact comes from Laura C. in Tennessee. I want to plant a new tree in my garden. What kind should I get and how do I best plant it? Great question, Laura. First, we need to decide what kind of tree we would like to install into our garden. You have to make sure that you put the right tree in the right spot. So ask yourself what you would like to get out of this new tree. Would you like shade? Would you like flowers? Would you like evergreen leaves, fall color? Also think about the space you have to work with. Do you need a tall tree or a short tree? Consider the appropriateness in your garden design. Do you need a tree that stands columnar or one that arches horizontally? If you have chosen a tree, research it. Like a new car, each tree has its own specifications and growing requirements. So know it before you grow it. Carefully consider your selection and don't just spontaneously purchase the first tree that grabs your attention at the plant nursery. That way you will have better success in growing and maintaining that tree into the future. Plant roots should be living and white, not brown and dead. Trees should be planted at the proper depth while in a container or wrapped in burlap. Make sure that the root flare, a swollen area at the base of the plant, is visible and that it is not below the soil. The best time to plant trees is in the fall when it's cool and it also gives the tree a chance to prepare a strong root system for the dog days of summer. After planting the tree, make sure to take off any stakes or supports. If the tree absolutely needs the support, keep it attached to the tree for 6 to 12 months only. Be certain that your plant choice does not have any damage along its trunk. Also, don't get quick canned. A quick canned plant is a small plant which has been bumped up into a larger pot size too close to the day of sale. In other words, you're buying a small plant with a small root system for a much larger price. Make sure this is not the case by tugging on the trunk of the plant. If the plant's root ball pulls out of the pot too easily, walk away. Don't buy that one. It's been quick canned. All right, now that we have decided on what kind of tree we want to plant, and now that we've purchased that plant, it's time to get dirty. Here's what we need to do. Kill the weeds in the area in which you are going to plant your tree. Using herbicide prior to planting or simply digging the weeds roots out work well. Use sand or spray paint to form and define your planting borders. Make your tree bed large enough to keep lawn mowers and other equipment from damaging the tree trunk. Also, consider the size of the tree when mature. For a tree potted in a container, dig the width of the hole two to three times the diameter of the root ball. Make sure that the depth of the hole is only as deep as the root ball itself so that the top of the root ball is level with the soil line. If you are planting a tree with a root ball wider than two feet, such as a tree that has been balled and burlapped, dig a hole which is one foot wider than the root ball itself and dig it so that it allows the root ball to sit two inches higher above the surrounding soil level. If you find that your tree's root ball is encircled with roots, be sure to score it so to prevent girdling and to encourage proper root growth. Treat this problem by making four to six one-inch cuts with a sharp knife or razor around the edge of the root ball. Now, before returning the soil into the tree's hole, make sure you do not amend the back soil with soil amendments such as pine bark, peat moss, or compost. Doing so can cause the hole to fill in with water when wet creating a bathtub effect which drowns the roots. And even worse, during dry periods when your tree will need water the most, the surrounding soil can actually extract water from the amended soil that's in the hole. And that prevents the tender roots from getting proper amounts of H2O. All you really need to do to prepare back soil is make sure that your hole is large enough and that large clods of soil are broken into half inch or less sized chunks. Return soil to the hole, making sure to keep it light, fluffy, and non-compacted. It is not necessary to pack the soil around the tree trunk. Form a water well around your newly planted tree to help contain water. 
Make sure not to localize water around the base of the tree trunk, however. It is best to place the water well around the edge of the hole rather than the edge of the root ball. Finally, mulch the tree bed and water in well. Your tree will need at least one inch of water per week and make sure to water deeply so as to encourage the development of an extremely deep root system. Well, I hope that answers your question, Laura. And if you have any questions about this episode, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, if you happen to have your own gardening question that you would like to have answered here on Gardening Facts, contact us at GardenFacts.com. That's GardenFAQS.com. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well as YouTube. Now, it's hard planting a tree. It can be hard work, but it can be educational and enjoyable. So go grab a root ball and get started. We'll see you all later.